My name is Caitlin Scheel, and at South by Southwest this year, I'm in Sun Don't Shine. Uh, somebody up there likes me, VHS, and the comedy. Um, I went to acting school, uh, so I studied at NYU, um, and I always wanted to be an actor, but I sort of gave it up after school because I was, I loved movies more than I loved acting at the time, and I knew I didn't want to sort of pursue a theater career, and I had no connection to the film world other than being a, a giant fan of movies, and uh, I worked at a video store for a while and, and would just rent you know, two or three movies every night and watch them obsessively. I didn't really know how to uh, live in New York. I didn't really understand it. Uh, and I didn't really have a life here. And then working at that video store and renting movies there sort of opened this whole film world to me. But it wasn't um, people who were making movies so much as just uh, fans and people who would go see a lot of, a lot of film. And then I, I got a job and decided that I wouldn't really pursue acting any longer because I didn't want to get an agent or go out on a bunch of auditions. Um, so I figured I would just keep watching a lot of movies and, and sort of being a part of that world in, in that way, but um, not sort of take part in the production side of things. Um, and then I was in a short called Knife Point, uh, which came out in 2009. And I think the reason I got that part was because I uh, talked to the director about possession at the um, audition. And we both agreed that possession was our favorite movie at the time. Yeah. Isabella Johnny, I just think is incredible in it. It's for the kind of performance she's giving, which is obviously very like histrionic and um, it's kind of theatrical in a way. She's just, she's incredible. Also, I like it when movies feel like they come out of nowhere. Like I don't understand where, uh, what the director was thinking exactly. And that's one of those movies for me. And her performance seems to come out of nowhere. I don't, I don't know where her sort of gears are turning. Um, but yeah, so that short um, did relatively well and I was very proud of it. And um, but nothing happened again after that for a while. And then I met Joe Swanberg through a friend of mine, Sean Williams, who's a DP who I'd worked at the video store with. And I started working on Silver Bullets and that sort of opened up this world of people who were making movies to me. Uh, in Amy's movie, I play Crystal who, um, is a woman who sort of out on the road with her boyfriend and is dealing with something uh, that seems very occupying and overwhelming for her, but um, the audience is not sure what for most of the film, I think. In Somebody Up There Likes Me, I play um, the ex-wife of uh, Max, who is played by Keith Polson. Um, I think I'm sort of uh, a catalyst for the film. He um, visits me at the beginning and sort of maybe tries to win me back in some way. I think Isabella Pair is my favorite actress, but it's kind of, I say that, but then I also think it's kind of silly to say someone, I don't speak French, so <laughs> it's kind of dumb to say that somebody who speaks a language that you don't speak is your favorite actress. Um, but I've always loved watching her. Um, I think she's really riveting. Um, well, I think there's definitely a shared love of movies, and um, I think most of the people I work with are also huge fans, um, and that's a big part of my life and sort of a connecting point between all of us. You know, because when you act in movies, it's, it's repetitious and there's a lot of waiting around and a lot of people say that theater is the actor's medium and, um, 
you know, I think that maybe if you're working on a film that you don't absolutely love, it can be a little deadening or easy to become complacent in your performance. But I think all of the directors that I've worked with are so exciting that the movie making experience is is uh, very engrossing and, and um, you know, exhilarating and it doesn't become sort of this rote um, thing where you learn a bunch of tricks and can just do it very easily. Um, I think they push people also.